Well, we're back and we're battle trope. That's the go-to intro. Welcome back. Ahem is what I would like to say, but I don't, I don't want to brutally clear my throat. We're clearing the stakes, as you know, last video. Well, depends on the chronological nature of what's going on here. Last time I played, we beat the Anaglyph deck. That's what the run is right now, but we're not, we don't go for that kind of run. We, we are consecutively clearing every deck, every stake now. Plasma deck, green stake, let it be known. 15 bucks. Holographic isn't actually as important as chip joke, so I wouldn't mind a bit of a, a bit of a chip joker, if you say so yourself. Now, there's no difficulty in this earlier stage, which is the great part about the plasma deck is that it's kind of easy to pilot. Um, both of these are mult multipliers. It's not as great. The upgrades to Celestial Pack is actually more impactful. I would happily upgrade a strain because that increases the chips pretty significantly, I'm not gonna lie. So now we just play a strain, we win. It's that easy. We're so close to a strain already, just give me a five. Thank you. This is almost a. I almost called it a flush straight. Straight flush, that's what I meant to say. We got all this money as a result. I don't really like the plasma deck. I know it's kind of easy mode. See. I'll pick it up because it's good, but like it's not actually that good. You know what I mean? Am I making sense here? An extra hand is it is money down the stretch. At the end of the day, um, where do I find myself? If if I'm playing a straight build, I don't want I don't want mock cards really. I mean, I would prefer mock cards than no mock cards to be sure. So let's just activate it, I guess. At the end of the day. We're going to be spending our money, we'll be spending it wisely. Hmm, none of this also is that impressive. Steel card is also not great, necessarily. We have a bunch of malt cards. But you could find me not being interested in it. 7, 9, 10, hey, we'll keep the 6, how about that? And, you know what? I've been rewarded. Still good, we're still good, we're not like destroying the world or anything. I would like a hiker, I would like some sort of scaling of, of, of any kind really, but for now I'll invest in an egg. Now you get better when I play, you get better when I skip. Difficult to... To make a judgement so quickly. Maybe it's better to keep the king and discard you, because we're going to be getting a... And your queen king ace, exactly, that's exactly what I said. You know what I meant, right? At the end of the day. I mean, this guy is very useless. Throwback. At the, very, at the current juncture, it's very useless, but a straight level will keep us going just a little while longer. And that being said, since we're building money here, I don't feel bad about trading with tarot cards. May as well use you. If you land on the egg, I'll be very disappointed. This is kind of... We're going to save this for like a straight flush. We get fortunate. Now, decreasing level. This is where you, you play your flushes so that you don't decrease the level of your straight. Because we can get away with it. I don't want to play my straight and then it ends up destroying my future. We just leveled it, you know what I mean? So we should focus on what's in front of us. Put it that way. We're fortunate. We're fortunate to have drawn all those flushes when we had the chance. And we're slowly building up that money as well. Or at least the potential for money. And I get... Chips, please. Some Something of chips. Red seal, create two copies. I would rather create two copies. Now, if I'm, uh, if I'm going for straights, or oh, we're not really committed necessarily, but... Eights is good for straights, right? Because it's kind of in the middle. You want something to be in the middle? Let's create a bunch of eights. But we don't want to balance it too crazy. But we're building straights. I always love to build straights in battle trial. It kind of makes you feel like... Okay, this gives you seven, this gives you three. The math speaks for itself. Plus you get a bit more bonus out of this, but this throwback joke is just kind of... It's sitting here, we're not really doing anything with it. Ace, two, four, five... Yeah, we got it. Honestly, I may just sell you, but we don't have a reason to free the spot yet, so it's not a big deal. Okay, yeah, that's a full house. Okay, give me something. 
Yeah, seven or a queen. That's exactly what I was talking about in that instance right there. Now we're not one-shotting things anymore, which means we need we need something that gives us a lot of chips very quickly. That's really these are all great cards to have if we were playing any other deck. Since we're not playing any other deck, it's just kind of mid. I have to I have to speak my truth at the end of the day. You know what do you want me to do? I guess I'm leveling of lush. We don't have a straight, we have a flush. Extra hand size is great for straight. Don't get me twisted. Okay, we, this is... We need to find the best possible... Maybe we could find a straight flush, but is our flush... Is our straight already better? It is. So, what's the point, really? Okay, we're building the top end. Well, if we're building the top end, we don't want to get two queens. There's no reason to. Okay. Now, do, we have, do I have any better... I have a molted up jack that I can just discard for. There's no reason not to. Because we already have the hand, you know, at the end of the day. Then Jack, Queen, King, Ace. It's the best we could do. And if it doesn't get us there, it is what it is. Just about. Well, a bit more than just about, but... it's in the. It was in the range of too close to call, you could suggest. Okay, this is great. Because it's chips and we need those. Now I would I think this is the point where we have to sell you so that we can actually start buying things. Which order do we want to go in? Doesn't matter doesn't matter necessarily. Negative to the Joker, it's not great. Add an effect. Okay, that's we would have preferred foil on that one, but Okay. Uh around joker card let's let's sell you and roll the dice again okay, strength and magician is okay it's not great but it's okay i would rather play it because i really need to buy more jokers okay now we just since we have the extra hand we should probably rather than going for the flush immediately we're gonna get so many chips for this we're gonna get like what 120 right now we do get a lot for going for straights but then a discard also reduces that so it's kind of a Difficult situation to be in. I don't want to modify my card just for this one situation. You know what I mean? Who's close? I think this will unironically un be enough because of the banner ships, but let's uh, not be so facetious. Let's actually play the game. Well, it's a flush. At the end of the day, it's a flush. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my strength card. I may have to pivot to like a four of a kind build. It's kind of confusing, really. Now this is good, but it's not great. And we're, we're, we're about to run into problems, okay. It's kind, of, it's kind of what I was talking about with the fact that I was gonna run into problems. What are we rocking with? We have a few extra eights and that's about it. Another straight level. It's a lot of chips. We can't afford to spend more. We just, we just can't. It's not reasonable. Bro, if I get negative Joker, we've just I've just been running out of money this entire time. Okay, uh Discard this way. To uh, discard this way maybe. Like that? But then we, we do lose out a lot of potential. So maybe this is the right time to invert. I don't know. You're really hurting me here, brother. This is good thing is our banner is completely useless so i think we may be dead if we don't get another another straight or two that was half i have no choice but to play this worst comes to worst we can solve it another way okay well that's a lot of queens that's all the queens maybe this is the right maybe this is the right time to pivot to five of a kind queens <laughs> That was the wrong... I was autopilot. I was fully autopiloted up. But actually, maybe that's the right decision anyway. 
Maybe you just play... Well, that's not even the highest hand you can play. So if we're going to be tre treating each other honestly, we should play this hand. But that's not a great hand, and we, I think we're dead. I, I think it's over. Because we just... I mean, you don't get a good joker, and then you run out of options, and then... You're just sad. At the end of the day, you're just sad. When chips are everything, this is why I don't like the plasma deck, because it ruins how you conventionally play the game. But at the same time, you love it because it gives you a crazy moment where playing games differently in ways that you don't normally do it. So, anyway, we go again. Okay, if we're gonna one-shot it, does it matter whether we go for the top or the bottom ace? Or the straight, I mean. Either way, we've got one. It doesn't matter. You get it either way. The more you know. Okay. I mean, this is an instant get. I, didn't, I was. I wish I could have afforded this blueprint. That's impossible. That's the risk we took. But now we just play spades and we win. It's that easy. Double tag is too risky to go in. We were just complaining about how little money we had. So now we just play spade based flushes. And we one shot everything for like two two antis. Because this is this is like basically getting stuntman. You know Starman, right? Yeah, straight first level, that's kind of okay. Hanging Chad is perfect for this combination because it means that we get an extra spade trigger on the arrowhead. These are no English words, okay. I think we do this in the hopes of getting more aces. We play it like this. Full house, double triggered arrowhead ace. And it's good enough for now. Not even a question about it. And that's useless. This is, in the grand scheme of things, not what I'm looking for. Give me spade conversion. Failing that, give me... Planet cards, maybe. Yeah, flush is exactly what we needed. You should never complain about being handed a flush bet after a loss. After a win, you can justify complaining about it. But at the end of the day, you know. Can't really play for it. Uh, we, we can... Uh, you know what, now we can. I was gonna say we can't really play for it. Of course we can play for it. Who do you think I am? I'm the player of flush builds extraordinaire, bro. I do like how we're even stronger before we're, we're hitting the flames before the balancing even comes in. That's just how good we are right now. Okay. Give me another shot at flush level. Ah, I'll take a flush build. Daring to oh, listen. It's just the game, okay? Give me some spade. Okay, well, I mean, if you're gonna give me a flush, I'll well, play a flush. If you're gonna give me a flush, I'll play a flush. That's it's one less dollar in the bank. It's apparently good enough even without a single arrowhead trigger. That was great. <laughs> so my illustrious commentary is not very illustrious when faced with the reality that we're being faced with here. Okay. Failing, failing everything, I would like to be able to play a strong pair. I've got a strong pair. The fruit. What were you thinking, Baka? Okay, can I get spade? Thank you. It was that easy, of course, but you know. This is strong enough to beat like even high antis in this, but you need to remember the doubling of the potential. Okay. Hand size is great for flushes, because we look it's great for everything really. And one may consider buying them both. And then being the packs. Convert stone card, moat card. How about we just turn a five into a five, but make it a spade? Because I don't want to reduce like a king to a five. We didn't get the option for something better. I would love to be skipping this, by the way, but like, you know. If you're gonna give me a reroll the boss plan and the boss plan is something completely like uneventful like decreased oh you know what that's a good reroll but then we could get if we get something like oh spades don't work we could be in an annoying situation i would rather reduce the level of a flush that we can repurchase and fix that issue you know what i mean we're not actually that reliant on flushes right now anyway we rely on spades more than anything and we're out of money it is what it is that's what happens when you just buy everything you see remember spend thrifty bellatrol players live a long and healthy life unless you're 
playing with Vagabond. That's the guy who, you know, produces that ability. Okay. This is kind of, it's something. And I think I would like, to, I would like something. Because we're running out of money. Okay, well, we already started with exactly what we need. Let's just get rid of all non-spade. Slowly and surely. The level will decrease. That's okay, because we're still going to win. It's not a problem. While we're winning so easily, you want to start building that deck. You know what I mean? Okay, this is exactly the direction we need to take. We're playing face spades, and we are going to win so handedly, it's going to be embarrassing. Now, convert things to face cards, please. And if, if it's even possible. Stone cards, steel cards. Yeah, bonus cards are great. So give me bonus cards. Just turn the spades to bonus cards and then live a happy life. Okay. Convert to spades. I thought you'd never ask, bro. Come on. Okay. Think about aces. It's not, it's, not, it's not the best one to convert into a spade, but it's better than anything else. Okay, we're starting to build something here. More spades than usual. Slowly getting rid of the non-spade cards. You know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Okay, burn this and just run it. And it's, it's insane, frankly. Now, if, it's, if we get Hiker, it's the icing on the cake. Hiker would absolutely go off, bro. This is the perfect time for Hiker. Okay, doubles money is pretty good, but I would rather, honestly, I would rather get the full. Because we've been lacking the spade conversion. We're about to get another shot at doing exactly that. How about converting all these cheeky little phase cards to spades and then the chance of another? Okay, we'll save that doubling of money for when we get more money to double. Investment tag, honestly, I would rather play and then get rid of the useless cards, you know what I mean? Forget that, we don't really want it. Run it this way, and then double your money after, because you're going to get enough to make it worth it. Because it's a big blind right there. This is already enough to beat it. Well, we kind of don't have enough, that's the problem, we don't have enough hands. Okay, double my money. As I say, we don't have enough hands to play all these spades. We need more spades. Okay, increase rank. Okay, we can do this and then we'll convert you later. Or we can get money. Let's do the tactical situation before, because we have some money right now. We wouldn't... And these are all terrible. I regret the attempt that I purchased. Diamond cards are debuffed. You, you got me messed up with the wrong kind of guy, bro. I'm not the kind of guy who cares about that kind of thing. We could play a stronger hand, but we're demolishing the situations right now. The blinds. Why did I call them situations? The environments, the tactical shooting of Counter-Strike. It's the wrong video game, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is pretty good. For the time being. You could you could consider buying that, but we're here to finish runs and we're here for an objective, you know what I mean? We're here for one thing and one thing only. And that's to clear okay, face card spade. You have you you have me pegged for the right kind of guy. And we're playing because we're looking to destroy this. Perfect. Now we use a discard, but we get a bunch of bonus chips for, for absolutely no. We, we spent nothing and we got bonus chips. What do you have to complain about at the end of the day? Okay, I mean, that's money. But it's only one time money. We're not going to play anything other than flushes. We have that we're pretty much locked down. That's the flush level that we've been looking for this whole time. Kind of on the side, really. Okay. Out of all of these, obviously we're taking another flash level. The boosts are insane. The boosts are insane. We're not going to go backwards. We can only go forwards. I'd rather play. This is one of those situations where you really want to look for the shop above all else. This is the worst luck with this card that we've had this whole time. And we're still going to win. Now, is a straight flush better than a regular flush? In raw numbers, you, know, you take five here, you put yourself... It's actually a difference of one. <laughs> so in that in that case, we, we have no reason not to play the face card, which we should put at the front because of hanging Chad. Well, actually, it makes no difference because we should have put the ace at the front because it doesn't stack the other way. If you know what I mean? 
Okay, the Ron is piloting itself. Yet again, we are left with disappointment. It's, it's kind of, it's this is the point where we start rerolling just a bit just to take a peek buy this save it for the spade the spades Not to debuffed it's kind of not my problem if I'm being real with you we're kind of we're thinning our deck towards exactly what we want and that's ideal starting to get towards the finish line and as you know money makes money in battle draw it's just like the real world money makes money interest you know it's all it's all made up numbers but at the end of the day what is it made up is when you Ooh, bonus cards are good but i don't know if it's worth permanently modificationing the cards destroy you uh turn a couple of aces to bonus cards why not Now you could say, why didn't you turn the jack into a bonus card? Because it's going to be triggered again. And to that I would say, stop exploding the flaws in my logic. Exploding? I'm truly an illustrious individual right there. Convert the spades! You're so kind to me, and yet, and yet, what do I do to deserve you at the end of the day? Okay, and now we just use this so we can do this and create more spades. Three more flushes, flushes, the spades, the flushes, the spades. It's it's enough to get the oh, zero discards is pain. Okay, in that case, let's save you for the um the, the boss blind because we could run into a scenario where we don't start with enough to make a flush, in which case we would like to convert. Okay. In any case. I would really other create two, two random planet cards, but also we don't have maximum eff efficacy of uh, conversion here anyway, so you could say it's better in many other ways. I may as well turn like an eight into a steel card. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point. How about a king to a lucky card? Because that's going to trigger multiple times. We could get something good out of it once. A bit of money, maybe a bit of money. Ooh, how about a bit of destruction, huh? Bit of light destruction. And how about a bit more tarot cards, seeing as we're doing a bit of conversion. Okay, here we go. Now, we can't discard, but we drew exactly what we needed anyway, so there's no reason to convert anyway. Might as well keep this around. Fantastic hand, don't get me wrong. We're running out of one-shot territory. Now, we're not doing that much discarding. I may as well buy it. We're running out of things to spend on anyway. So I don't want to just go all crazy re-rolling. Oh, it's good to have one backup hand. That's my battle draw tip of the day. Have one backup hand. Never go all in on one hand. Because if you can't play it at some point, you're screwed. And you're running out of options at that point. So it is what it is. Now you can say this is inefficient, and I would agree with you, so I'm going to look for more. Here we go. That's perfect. Up, down, up, down, left, right. Everybody do the dinosaur, etc. It's that easy. Banner is just here for cosmetic purposes, by the way. Okay, Spectre Pack could be could get cryptid. Now, what do we want to crypt it? Probably you. That's pretty neat, if I had to guess. Show me a flush level and I'll show you a happy man. We could be on to flush five pretty soon as well, by the way. Not that it's a surprise to anyone, but. Ah, yes, I want to discard one. I forgot that. I almost forgot the game mechanic for a second. 
for a moment there I lost myself. A royal flush? That's worse than a regular flush. Sorry, my friend. I have to play the regular flush. It's nothing personal, bro. It's okay. Give me some chances to get money. No, no triggers out of three attempts. That's fine. I will not one-shotting anymore, which is a scary thought. It's truly a terrifying thought that we could be not one-shotting. But we are on um, coming up to the last stretch of potential blinds, so it's not that surprising, you could say. Okay. More spades. I could just run the conversion. Show me a flush. I see no no environment in which we will be playing a high card, but I'm not going to level any of the other ones. Okay, let's burn you. Okay, we should not we should not discard in a wanton manner because we are going to run out of hands and spades before we run out of opportunities to win. So we should really just play the cards we're dealt, to be honest with you. And then if we want to, we can do a double discard and then we can be back. But it's no big deal. Two hands is enough. I could go back and anti, but we're honestly on a good track to just completely this anti-8 right now. When you're not endless focus, you don't need to worry about that kind of environment. You know what I mean? Like... Oh, one random joke could save with every hand. It would be very tricky. Am I crazy to just go skip straight to this? I am crazy, to be honest, because we have no problem with defeating the rest of what's going on here. So we should just play it the other way. Which is go to as many shops as possible to try and upgrade what we've got going on. Somehow that was a one shot, which is fine by me, but... <laughs> Insulted to give me a joker at this day and age. It is what it is though. It is what it is. Okay, we're running out of things to convert into spades to be honest with you, but... Could you not have shown up a little bit earlier? Okay, we're running out of things to destroy. We have 33 spades, and we have very little of anything else. It's time to get rid of you and time to get you in. Because you're going to upgrade our team instantly anyway. So no, you have foil as well, so it's just kind of makes sense. We got, we got the upgrade that we were looking for. Now we can just start playing. And have you at the front. Look at all these upgrades. Look at all these upgrades. Look at how the, look at how the dance dances, bro. Oh, we're still not one-shotting, which is a pain. Don't get me wrong, it is a pain. But it also is what it is. And now we don't even need a discard as long as we draw the flush at the right moment. See, I, I wish we had drawn this earlier. Because now the run has legs, but I'm not going to take this run anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a man on a mission at the end of the day. That seems like the best investment for me. May as well take a peek in here. It's going to be our last time looking at it after all. Extra chips, we're kind of good on that. <laughs> it's a cute little guy, but we can't afford him. If you're wondering why I spent all that money... Okay, well, I mean, that's perfectly fine. And in fact, it's ideal. Because if we if we this disable, we should just play a dumb hand, because we don't have enough spades to run otherwise. Okay, have you at the front, and then off we go. Now, as long as you disable something completely useless, that's perfectly fine. Doesn't really matter which one we go on or on which direction we go. And there we go. There's another battle trail run complete. We lost the first one, but we made it the second time and it was pretty calm run. Here's a seed if you want to go try it for yourself anyway. Hope you enjoyed the run. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, etc. We got more battle travel. We got more other stuff coming in the future. And we got links in the bio. There's no merch. That's like a 10-year-old meme at this point, so I'm gonna stop mentioning it. But anyway, yeah, enjoy.